My goal is to make one friend in every class. At least All have right. a friend in every class. Um, let's see. But yeah, I'm gonna slide back to Gavin real fast. Yep, he's just finished sending this. Down. All right, so, oh, uh, roll me another perception. <laughs> Why did I close down my sheet? I don't know. Why you did know you... I'm, I'm fucking guilty of doing that every time, dude. No, imagine me as a GM when I have like 18 sheets up and I close one of them and I have to find where it is in the folders. I just said. Alright, so that's a horrible... That's not too good of a perception. Um, also, shot in the face. You back. can't tell where, but you feel like someone's watching you. Damn, damn, baby ninja, damn, 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 damn. Okay. All right. He's just kind of ignoring it. I mean, you can't see it. There's nothing you can do about it. Response. Something's trying to hurt me. Can't see it. Everything is fine. Oh, yeah. Can't you definitely me, can't do see it. it. If I can't see it, it can't see me. <laughs> <laughs> just, just cover your eyes. All right. So, y'all walk to... Uh, each of y'all have the same next class. Uh, y'all can, uh, around what time do you think everyone would arrive there? Probably like five minutes early for this one. You have to literally run, a, like, from one oh, yeah. to the other corner of campus. I'm like two minutes late for this one. <laughs> oh, I have two hours. Damn. Yeah, I had like two hours before this, so I just went around looking at and taking pictures of buildings. Amalia's got an hour. I'm gonna read Forsyth's... those fucking lengthy message. Forsyth's got t literally like ten minutes. Rose has two and a half hours. Yeah, she has a while. And then Gavin has an hour. I'm walking. <laughs> I feel so out of place now. Everybody like, and hey, we'll get you on get them just <laughs> just dancing across this campus. <laughs> I did that on purpose. Someone had to have the dash here. And it, it just happened to be you. I feel so, like you purposely targeted me. <laughs> no, I, I, purposely, I, I actually, I agree with Forsyth on that. You purposely targeted him. No, that's not the one I purposely targeted yet. So. Okay. Yet. 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 Yeah, I heard that. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll see. So, I imagine... As soon as I finish reading that, like, odyssey of text, I just, she, Amalia, like, takes her chin in her hand, kind of scratches an imaginary beard for a second, you know, just <laughs> thinking, and then she just, she reaches down, and the only thing that she types to him is just, um. So, like, when you say that, I imagine, like, making the hair beard, because scratching that. Yeah. <laughs> just, whoop. Scratch, scratch, scratch. And then she just sends him the triple dot question mark of justice. <laughs> question mark of justice. He'll just send back. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Alright, so... Y'all are still on and off texting all day. Um, this is a bunch of question marks. It's back and forth. Would Amalia and Gavin walk? Oh no, no, they walk. They had to walk separate for my. Eight. Oh no, yeah, could. Right, would y'all have walked together, or y'all just walking separate to class? Um, I think Amalia would walk separate because she wasn't with anyone. Well, actually, she was with Gavin. Yeah, you had class beforehand. Yeah, that's true. Well, I mean, she probably stopped to read the entire thing. <laughs> Yeah, makes sense. So I guess that depends if Gavin just left. Alright, so... Uh, Amalia, I'm assuming, is probably early. Probably. Gavin is... How early do you think Gavin would be? Eh. He'll rock up about five minutes. Alright, what about Rose? You get there pretty... Oh, right. Would he have time to go pay his fee? For... Oh, fuck. 
Oh yeah, that's that's something I should have did earlier. <laughs> I gotta go pay fees too. Fuck. I have a lot to do today. I'll do it all after this class. And that's like a good thing that it ends at like twelve o'clock. So what do you have? Time? I have time for what? I use club. Um, I'm pretty sure we, you have two and a half hours basically before class starts. Gavin has an hour. Amalia had the hour. Rose would have the two and a half hours. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want to go. Rose yeah, definitely. Like, Gavin has the hour, so he he have enough time to make it and pay fees. Okay, real quick. Yeah, he'll go get that. Yeah, how, how much would it have been for the two? Um, let's see. Let me pull up all the fees. I have a word document just for clubs. Alright, so book club is free. Our God's Real is 15 a semester. Gymnastics. Like that. I'm, pay I'm paying that bitch out right off. For a year? Yep. I mean, are you seriously paying for a year? You might not be back next semester. You yeah, what, if you're, what if you're dead? <laughs> <laughs> Gymnastics. <laughs> You could have spent that on, a, like, an ice cream. Instead, you fucking Wait. died. $15 for an ice cream? Holy shit, that's a lot of expensive-ass ice cream. Yeah, you go get some Froyo, dude. You don't get that pussy shit. I mean, that's exactly. like $1.50 in real-world money, so... <laughs> it's not that much. That's true. Yeah. Is Gavin paying gymnastics for a year or just a semester? It's 25 a semester. Uh, pay it. Like, yeah. I feel so cheated. And my club is twice as much as everyone else's as well. Security is 30 a semester. Wait, does Gavin really have to pay to be in that? Didn't he yes. get in on sponsorship for gymnastics and get forced into the team? <laughs> he still somehow has a fee. <laughs> okay. They gotta make some money off of him already. <laughs> so yeah, he'll pay gymnastics for the year and... Security just for the first semester. Yeah, that's thirty a semester. Uh, photography and films fifty eight a semester. Fifty eight or fifty? Fifty. Okay. Fifty thousand. Nah. Fifty hundred. <laughs> nah. So Gavin's about five minutes early. How early is Rose to class? Uh, probably about thirty minutes. 30 minutes early, so you would make it there, and you would already be there before, uh, before Amalia. Honestly, I do that in real life, too. I get to my class, like, 30 minutes early. So... I don't. That's just weird. No. Amalia gets oh. there, um, and you see Rose already there. She sees Rose, and she's just like, <gasps> and then she runs up and gives her a hug, <laughs> and then sits right next to her. She doesn't care where. <laughs> yes. All right. Well, actually, there is no chairs. Oh, 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 shit. Oh, oh. It's I was just a room that I'm just going to, like, put all y'all tokens in for now. I'm afraid. Oh, shit. Wait, Bottom left. That's not a match. That, that's... That, that's not good if there's a whole map for it. That's not good. That isn't good. I mean, I don't, just, I don't know if this is good. It's probably just battle class. Uh oh. All right. Yeah. So, so I'm gonna punch a Pokemon in the face. <laughs> All right. So y'all um y'all get there. Uh, after a little bit of time of Rose and Amalia being there, for or uh, Gavin arrives there a couple minutes early. And then, actually, the teacher's a little late, but Foresight beats the teacher there, but being a minute or two late. I'm, like, slide into the room, they got on Converse. <laughs> just slide. And it's safe. <laughs> just Gavin just doing like that. Just, he's safe. I'm, then we give him a high five, like, yes. Almost immediately after, Gavin, like, runs through and runs up toward near y'all. Oh, my God. It's no, please don't. No. No. No, Sharon. No. Sharon Hall is named after. 
<laughs> you challenge that's all. <laughs> just, just leave. I quit. I, I, I'm nope. changing classes. <laughs> as soon as you enter, I'm gonna take a really quick photo. I'm like, oh my god! You're like, what is Sharon even known for? <laughs> I can't leave. I'm stuck. He's known, I'm uh, teaching and uh, his like professing. He has done per- some prof- some research. I'm like, oh my god! I'm gonna like, do a little fanboy, even though I don't really know what he's for. I just want to take a picture of the teacher. <laughs> Okay, both in and out of character. Who the I fuck is that? He's from. He Have you black never played white, black and white? Yeah, he never but like, I don't know what he actually does with his life after that. <laughs> he's uh, in black and white too. He becomes a gym leader. Yeah, he's literally okay. the first gym leader. Ah. Wait, he becomes the first damn. gym leader? Yeah, yeah so this he tanky becomes ass, the first gym leader in black and white too. With his tanky oh, ass. Roll your intuition to a bit of a photo you take. You ain't Brock. You're not important as the first gym leader. Ha. Really good photo. Nice. Well, it could have been better. Could have been a twenty. You can eat a dick. Um, how are how is everyone doing today? There's about ten people in your class. I'm doing pretty great. You mean like you mean t- ten people counting us or ten people besides us? Counting y'all. There's ten people. Uh oh, Pokemon oh, coming out. This is oh, a small shit. ass class. I mean, is this, a, po- is, is this a Pokemon party? Oh, so. That's where it comes in game, like in time events. Honestly, just. So he seems very, like, kind and caring. Um, He starts talking about. Oh. So in this class, we will learn more about Pokemon, how to care for them, how to, uh, like, different things about them. On top of, we will also work on uh, better fighting styles and uh, different battle tactics and combat. Um, But we will start day one with uh, whoever wants to challenge me to a fight can challenge me to a fight. Oh, no. Let's do this. this. Not with his tanky ass normals. Let's do this. Who who's the first to want to challenge him to a gym match or a, a battle, not a gym match? Fuck it. <laughs> just just, no. just you're not even in your gym. I challenge you for the badge. Foresight is 100 percent going to do it first. Badger him. <laughs> the entire speech puck is just ramming into. Let's it. go. I'm gonna step forward. I wanna do this. I wanna do okay. this badly. <laughs> uh we're going to do that one. I don't like I that. I, screwed, I think I screwed up how I did my, my uh my lighting on this one. So I like this me. random girl who also has her pants. Okay, quit quit moving around, guys. Oh, I'll move if I want to. Unless he takes away your movement. <laughs> Just exits. Turkey's on my shoulder. Just though. exits game. Ha! I get the last laugh. Oh, I see what I did. Watch, Sharon's gonna send out a mega Kangaskhan. I will cry. Then press start. <laughs> oh, that is so wow. wow, Brandon, this looks so familiar. Shut up. There's actually different ones for different things in this. If we do different cup, different battles. Oh, shit. Oh, go shit. to the no, ice I mean, area. You know what I mean? It's similar, because it's fucking funny, because it's exactly what you did in another thing. Yeah, I literally did this in a different campaign. I just recycled this map. Alright, oh. so... Oh, are those white things teleporter pads? Yes. I need to actually go through and make sure I have all the stuff set up, like my training stuff. Oh, dude, he knows what's up. He's using the Zigzagooner. <laughs> Shut up. Don't ever say I mean, that he, in life. I mean, he is the normal type gym leader, so he probably has shit tons. And this isn't even his OP ass Pokemon he could bring out, too. Zigzagoon is oh, like the cutest Pokemon, though. Not to me. 
He's not he's not ugly though. I do he is cute. I will admit that, but he's not the cutest. Nah, he's fucking cute. But he is cute, not the cutest though. If I had one choice on what Pokemon to have, and it was only defined by how cute they were, I'd pick Six again. <laughs> cray cray. I'll pick Eevee. Honestly, I gotta agree with the Forsyth on that one. Nah. Because Zigzagoon got that fucking... He got those, like, those ruffles of fur, you know? But, like, Eevee, though. Like, he, like, runs in a zigzag, dude. Come on. So why does Keone have two different abilities? Because Observation Party lets me give them an ability. Oh, okay, that's right. You're right. I'm not trying to cheat. And it only works in a specific location anyway, so. <laughs> oh, yeah, you, you literally you started by taking a picture as well. Isn't that a good thing for you? I actually got to put it in the archive first. It was so... Uh, so like, I'm, guess. Sorry about that. You ready? All right, so Keone is actually the faster of the two. Keone. Use powder snow. Yeah. Unfortunate. Well, I mean, if he has no evasion, it'll hit. <laughs> I, highly doubt, I highly doubt that, though. Yeah. Um, Definitely not going to hit. And we're going to have to retaliate. Oh, so... With, with retaliate? <laughs> oh, obviously. No, so Charon's um, like, oh, you... Whenever you battle, you got to... Make sure your Pokemon has very good accuracy to be able to hit your target. The sad thing is, she specifically has the training to give better accuracy. Oh, I should probably apply my training to Froakie. Oh, I did that. Yeah, just unlike Peter, with some friends. That hurts a lot. All right, so. All right. So you take twenty-two. Alright, so, being 22 damage, uh, you do not actually take an injury yet. That's good. So now it's Keone's turn. Please don't miss with this with Keone. I'm going to have her use baby doll eyes. Alright, you hit, and you get to... Lower his attack by one combat stage. Yes. So that will be a little helpful. He's like, oh, Sharon starts saying, yeah, status moves are very useful because it makes it harder on your opponent. But sometimes they even know status moves. Oh, crap. My terrible attack is more terrible now. Look at Sharon being a teacher. Yeah. I've been out here for almost five hours, so... Yeah, I haven't seen you. That's weird. Dude, are you about to lose to a Ziggs again? <laughs> I think it's gonna happen, man. I think it's probably level 30. Nah, it's- it's- I actually nerf things to be around y'all level. You say that. Hey, is that it might, hit? That might hit. That will hit. Because if it didn't hit, that'd be scary. Because it means he has a second evasion, which means his physical defense is fucking awesome. Or oh, he has really good speed evasion. Yeah, like somebody, uh, <laughs> like somebody. Like <laughs> somebody here. What cook in his fucking 30 speed? <laughs> Dude, 30 speed at level 10 is a great idea. <laughs> Alright, so... Um, he's just gonna wind up saying, alright, that's a pretty good hit, and just okay. tackle you again. Oh, there's one thing I'm never good, like, how does priority work? 
So how priority works is you haven't taken a turn yet in combat. Oh. You can pretty much like take your turn before them sort of. Like but there's different priorities. <laughs> different types of priorities. Some of them it's like you just use the move. Sometimes it's like you take your turn before theirs. It all depends on what kind of priority move it is. But you're okay. faster than Zigzagoon, so you go. So there's for, like no reason. Yeah, for you right now, there's no sense like really worrying about priority. It's when you start battling something who has like a 25 speed tier 11, you're just like, no, fuck you, I'm going before you. I'm about to lose to Zigzagoon. I'm so depressed. <laughs> now it's your turn. I mean, she only has one attacking move, and that's power smoke, so. And she has an injury. <laughs> And it, oh my, does it? It does. This is rolling really badly for this. Wait, attack opportunity is still a thing, right? Because you can't move away from him now. Attack opportunity is a thing still. Um, how it works is you go to the handbook to maneuvers. It's like if they move away, you take like a uh like struggle attack that they like get one. Oh, have like resist one step or something. I think. Let me check. It's under maneuvers. That awkward moment where if you used powder snow instead of baby doll eyes, you would have knocked it out. That one moment if I actually hit the first turn, everything would have been fine. All right, so That's attack of opportunity, you make a struggle attack against the triggering foe as an interrupt. You may use an attack of opportunity only once per round. Attacks of opportunity cannot be made by sleeping, flinched, or paralyzed targets. Uh, attacks of opportunities can be triggered in multiple ways. An adjacent foe uses a push, grapple, disarm, trip, or dirty tactics maneuver that does not target you. An adjacent foe stands up. An adjacent foe uses an ranged attack that does not target someone adjacent to, you, to it. An adjacent foe uses a standard action to pick up or retrieve an item. An adjacent foe shifts out of a square adjacent to you. That's attack oh, of opportunity. Yes. If you try stepping back, it'll have an attack of opportunity on you. I guess yeah, so um, Sharon's like, all right, time for us to end this fight. And things are wrong. All right, one sec. And that will definitely end defeat Keone. Uh, you can call you like oh wait, I forgot to been doing this whole thing I was been doing. I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a picture of him doing headfoot <laughs> at my archives. I forgot I was supposed to be doing that this whole time. <laughs> I roll your intuition. You're rolling a picture of your Vulpix getting knocked unconscious by a headbutt. No, I'm doing as he starts to headbutt. So fuck up. <laughs> It's an, right. it's an alright picture. You wind up not getting it until it actually hits Keone. I like no. to think the reason it's not a good picture is because Zigzagoon runs in a zigzag and he runs right out of the center of the frame. Yes. As he takes the picture and Volpix get like is in the picture, it's just like Volpix will remember this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna use that quickly to train it to avoid hit, but it's better. I don't feel as bad. I feel like everyone else is going to beat this exactly. All right, so... Uh, Say yeah, that, but he'll probably, it, he's probably going to change it. He's probably going to be like, oh, no, not a, uh, no, you thought it was a six again? Psych! Yeah. So gonna, Mega Kangaskhan. The All only right, thing I'm upset about is, like... Reggie Gigas. I'll be right back, guys. I'm going to go move to my room now. All right. It's Reggie Gigas. <laughs> Return. Nope. <laughs> Sends out a Regigigas. All right. Good thing I have 30 speed. I run to the teleporter pad. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Goodbye. Goodbye. Farewell. Hasta la vista. So long and thanks for all the shit. <laughs> all right. So, okay, anyone I'm else want to challenge Sharon? Oh, yeah.
Amalia wants to challenge Charon. I can't wait for Puck to get his ass kicked because all he can do is really run. <laughs> well, He's well first, first Amalia is going to walk up to Charon. And she's going to introduce herself. <laughs> I because... think he feels awkward now. Yeah. I'm going to... This is... That's that's the thing, right? He's going to be like, ooh. All right, so you show him the card and shake his hand? Yeah, I show him <laughs> this card and I shake his hand. She's, she's, trying, she's trying to use the pity card to win. What does he say when I show him that card? Is it because your stupid face? Um, he looks at it. He goes, hmm. Oh, well, nice to meet you. Uh, surprised you're not talking. Maybe a little shy, but if I'd say 10 points for guessing why, I guess say your hair. She shakes her head no, and then she laughs. A little bit, a little bit mockingly, she laughs. Oh, oh god! <laughs> and then she, she, then she flips to the next card on the card ring and shows him this one. Ah, makes sense. As he like pats you on the head, we still show y'all love too. <laughs> <laughs> what? As soon as he starts patting her on the head, she gives him this like glare, like. She, she looks really upset by this, and then she flips to another card, and she shows him it. <laughs> he, like, laughs a little. He's like, nah, that's not what it is. Oh, the irony of her patronizing him, but then you're mad when he does it. <laughs> exactly. It's like a female. He's like, he's like, no, that's not what it is. And she looks at him, and she gives him a nod, like, yeah, it is, bitch. <laughs> All right. he, just, he looks at you with the most like caring smile. He's like, all right, so you wanted to battle me? She nods, and then she Kiss backs ass. up and gets Puck in front of her. Kiss ass! And then she channels him preemptively. All right. Um, he shall throw out. Oh, I have after Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, <she's> <laughs> that just makes me feel bad. <laughs> Pretty sure I'm going first. You say oh, that it's, God. it's, it's oh, like God. 50 speed. He's using a Minchino. It's it has 50 really speed. <laughs> shit. <laughs> why does why do things get harder? <laughs> Alright, so Puck gets to go first. Okay. What a talk shit. Talk shit. Before Puck goes, I have a question about this room. So are we just in an empty room with a tile floor? Oh uh, no. This is all grass. It's all grass. Is it like yeah. turf grass or is it like real grass? It's like real grass. You know how much money this school got? They got real grits. Okay, so... <laughs> they got the big bucks. They got forward shit. <laughs> what, uh, there's, like, lights and stuff, right? Is, um... Yeah, there, there's lights on the ceiling. Yeah, you ain't gonna get possessed nothing. You gotta fight them head to head. Okay. I'm just, I'm just thinking of my options, really. Um, you stole so how far can I move on my turn? Like Your overland. Places? Overland slash levitate or whatever. Oh, I could choose between overland or levitate? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay. My thing is... The standard form is a six uh, levitate, so you can move six meters. Yeah. Plus, Proton wants to walk on the ground, then it will only move two meters. Can you and... do both? No, it has to pick one. You can only do... That. Because levitate, swim, overland are all shift actions. You can only do one shift action a turn. Okay. Okay. So, how many meters is one square on this grid? So, if you were done correctly, you can go to your your ruler. If I, mine will work. Yeah, there we go. Oh, the, I did not actually change them. Give me a second. 
I'm pretty sure right. it's square per meter. Because it's six squares. Or at least it roll twenty is being stupid, and that should work. See? Just one square per meter. Cool, 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 cool. So how it is is uh one square forward is a meter, set so two squares forward is two meters. By diagonal, one square is one meter, the next square is two meters. Because it's one point five rounded down. Okay. But it doesn't mean just because like if you go here, go forward and then go diagonal again, you still gotta count it as two meters, even though it says one meter. Your second diagonal counts as two meters. Gotcha. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, For well, your reference, if you like move around trees and stuff. Can you like break Damn. up your movements in this game? Like you can yeah. in D. Yeah. It's part of your shift action. You can break it up. Okay. I'm going to move forward one and then use uh, T wave. Ooh, interrupt. Snap up as your T wave. Just imagine like T posing while you're doing it. <laughs> yeah. When you're dominant. So that should just. T-Wave just kind of hits. It just works. Yeah, it's just a thing that happens. And now, I have a question. Where is the closest, like, outlet in the room? <laughs> if any. Um, probably would be the lights in the ceiling. Okay. There's no outlet how, in the wall. How high up is the ceiling, meters um, wise? Ceiling, I want to say, is about... Uh... Oh, yeah, I'm going to nap pick, take a picture of T-Wave. There's no point. I'm trying to, like, not make it too high, but, like, not make it too low, because you got tall Pokemon who fight. I mean, like, 15 meters should be good. Yeah. I don't think anything's that tall. Yeah, we'll go at uh, 15 meters. Why not? Okay, then Puck is going like... to levitate up five, uh, up five meters. <laughs> Vertically. Dun, dun, dun. All right. If that's a thing you can do, that is a thing I can, you can do. You can do that. Oh, all right. Yeah. It's like okay. that's like the whole point of sky movement. So you just fly up. Okay. Or actually, wait. Yeah. Levitate's weird, but like, I'll let it. You just can't go like really. You can't fly. You can't keep going up. Like after a certain point, you have to stop. Okay. I think, like, just six meters straight up to be, like, stop. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because technically, because technically levitate, they should be able to go to a certain di height, because if you watch ghost types, which majority of them have some form of levitate, they can generally fly, well, float pretty fucking high. Yeah. I'll allow, like, so high of, like, levitating up, but not, you can't fly up any higher. Would I be able to, like, reach the ceiling? I don't you know, think so. You get, like, six meters of levitate straight up. All right. No problem. That'll be OPs. I want to fly all the way. Nothing can tell me. Whee! No problem. I'm just going to hang five meters in the air, though, so it's hard for him to hit me. Nah. Yeah, remember Pythagorean Theorem. You got to go <laughs> diagonal. <laughs> or just stand under you shoot straight up. All right. I think that's all I could do, right? Yeah. yeah. So, let's see what happens with... Paralysis. That definitely does something. You have to roll to see if you guys can do stuff. I did. Uh, I just can't remember what rolls were what. I think it's like... I don't remember myself. Page 246. Think... Once my book loads up. Actually, I could just scroll down because I was on 241. Alright, um, Paralysis. Their speed stat is lowered by four combat stages. Beginning of each their turn, they make a DC5 save check. If they succeed, they act normally. If not, they can't take any standard shift or swift actions, and electric types are immune. So one thing that I do, I don't know if this is base rules, but this actually makes sense. So since my speed stat is lowered, the actual turn would get lowered. Yeah, your initiative does lower when your speed goes down. I I 
some things I don't know about the basic game, and I kind of like just like this rule. No, that's the actual thing. Okay. Makes sense with me. Games don't actually do it. I'm like, eh. Yeah. I mean, the main game has other stuff included, so it's like, eh. Yeah. So, um, I also do a couple things weird, but I kind of like, I play more for fun than making sure I follow every rule. Dude, you so. don't play for real, then. Chichiro, Chinchino, Chinchino is going to use its shift action to burrow. Oh shit! Sky versus underground. Who's going to win? Oh shit! He's gone. He burrows. Oh man, uh-huh. he's gone. And now the okay. way the game happens. 